We're going to convert the function y equals negative 6 over 7 times x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 11 to vertex form by partial factor. The first thing we're going to do is to common factor the first two terms. We're going to include the leading coefficient in that common factor. So factoring out negative 6 sevenths x from 4 thirds x requires us to divide 4 thirds divided by negative 6 over 7. We invert and multiply, we get 28 over negative 18, which becomes negative, which is equal to negative 14 over 9. So what we now have is negative 6 sevenths x times x minus 14 over 9 plus 11. We can determine the x values of the points where this parabola intersects the line y equals 11 by focusing on the first part of the expression and setting it equal to 0. That would mean x is 0 or x is 14 over 9. We can determine the x value of our uh, axis of symmetry by um, adding those two values and dividing by 2. And so what we get is 0 plus 14 over 9 over 2, which is 14 over 9 divided by 2, which is the same as 14 over 9 times a half, which ultimately reduces to 7 over 9. There's the x value of my vertex. What we now do is take that x value and plug it in to determine the y value. Negative 6 sevenths x times x minus 14 over 9 plus 11. Plugging in 7 ninths requires us to multiply negative 6 sevenths times 7 ninths, which nicely reduces to negative 2 thirds. Negative 2 thirds times negative 7 ninths, which we get by doing this subtraction, is the same as 14 over 27 plus 297 over 27, which is what 11 equals. And that gives us 311 over 27. This is the y value of our vertex. Well, we know the a value of our parabola is negative 6 over 7. So we can state our quadratic and vertex form as y equals negative 6 over 7 times x minus 7 over 9 quantity squared plus 311 over 27.